hello guys welcome back to the channel once again in today's video you're going to learn how to install wordpress and later uninstall it so we're going to be learning wordpress installation and wordpress uninstallation in this video if you're excited to see content like this consider subscribing to my channel because that motivates me all right if you have hosting go to your hosting dashboard and then click on or log into cpanel okay so you log into cpanel once you log into your cpanel here you can type software close apps installer or you click on you go beneath this page you see software okay so when you see software you can click on wordpress manager by software close all right in order to install wordpress or you can click on software close apps installer here okay so you have three options you can type it here or you go beneath this page where you see software you click on wordpress manager by software close or you can click on software close apps installer in this case we are going to use software close apps installer so we click on that okay we have clicked on that now the next thing we are looking out for is wordpress okay the, the first script that's wordpress right so you click on wordpress click on that and here we are on this page it talks about wordpress version and the release date okay and you can see some menus here when you scroll down you see choose installation url in my case I want to install it on my subdomain that is this one okay and then make sure you empty in directory okay if not you have problems so you move that and then go beneath this page you see site settings enter your website name here okay so my website name is maybe test as tutorial so test as tutorial is my website name and my site description will take the same name okay so you enter your site description here and then to your right you see admin account enter your admin username and your admin password and below that you can see admin email make sure you enter an email address you have access to okay Alright, so after you enter those details, then go beneath this page. Below, you can see install. You click on install. You can also enter your email address here so that your installation details will be sent to that particular email. In my case, I'm not doing any of this, so I'm going to I'm not going to do that. So I'm right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on install. So install and we wait for it. Depending on the speed of your uh, internet connection it will take some time to get installed and congratulations installation the software was installed successful and this is a link to your website you can check it here you can also click here to go into your WordPress dashboard okay so let me open these two links and then show you how they look like okay so I'll open the first link and this is the first link and this is the blank installation of wordpress okay this is how it looks like that's the default installation let's go back and then check our login our dashboard wordpress dashboard okay and this is our wordpress dashboard welcome to wordpress 5.9 okay wordpress is constantly making changes updates they update their uh their management system okay they update it so if you're working with wordpress it's a trusted platform okay yeah so you can go ahead and play with this and this is how you manage where you manage your website and with this hosting provider i'm currently using you can see ssl certificate is already installed for you on all subdomains okay if you want to check my recommended hosting provider link in the description you can go ahead and check it out it's called makigohost.com again i have 50 percent coupon code in the description 
for you to use as a newcomer okay so in this part of the tutorial we're going to uninstall wordpress and see how that process also looks like you can go back to your hosting dashboard again and click on log into c panel okay so let's do that again so you can click on log into c panel here i'm closing all my tabs okay this c panel once again once you are there or you land on c panel you can see this wordpress manager by software clause if you can see that please just click on it but if your hosting i mean your c panel looks different but because this is the latest version of uh c panel you should have it also on your dashboard okay with mac you host this is the default hosting uh, c panel version all right but if it is not there please make sure you see this team option just click on it and then choose jupiter okay choose jupiter let me show you how the old one looks like okay so let's wait for it and this is the older version of c panel right is outmoded i don't like it okay that's why i'm using the newer version you can also do that by going to team option and then you click on that when you click on that get switch it back to jupiter because jupiter is the latest version of your c panel right so let's do that to get the latest version once you switch it back to the latest team or the latest version to your left you can see wordpress manager by software close click on it okay and here you can see all your wordpress installations and this is the wordpress management page all right so this is where we're going to be uninstalling the wordpress go to the domain name or subdomain you want you have your wordpress installed where do you want to uninstall your wordpress in my case this is where i want to install uninstall my wordpress and this is what we get installed right now so to your extreme right you can see this down arrow just click on it and scroll down when you scroll down you can see these commands okay these commands this is what we want to do you click on uninstall so when you click on uninstall it will go ahead and uninstall everything including your database removing wordpress just leave everything as they are and then you click on remove wordpress once you do that everything will be uninstalled successfully i hope this video has been informative i will see you in the next lecture bye bye